Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about cephalocell imaging. So cephalocell is focused on extracranial extension of the intracranial contents to the effect in scar. So if we talk about the content, within the cephalosaurus, they divided into two types. So first one is meningocell. cell. It means this polyminensis and CSF. And encephalocell within that is the brain tissue, meninges, and CSF, or we can call meningo and cephalocell. If I click to the location, we can call occipital cephalocell, frontal etmoidal or sin, cipital, parietal, basal, nasopharyngeal, remaining Cranial wall include cavarium, mastoid, or petrous temporal bone, cavum trigon, kimenon. In the imaging, meninges and CSF have uh, plus minus been tissue produced through the fact in it, brain tissue is often is plastic. No more, no. Um, are we to assess cephalocell content and abnormal venous sinuses? CT to assess bone effects. And in prenatal and postnatal we, we can use ultrasound to assess all this condition. So let's see the first case. This is the site 32 or more of the a five-day-old patient shows a parietal cephalocell containing CSF and fibro tissue, science of the arrow indicated, note the first system, quasi-sinus, cyan curve arrow indicated, special attention to vascular involvement in critical in cephalocell evaluation. And this is the cytotal G2 SSFSE and all of 32 root spreaders. So a large basal cephalocell due to sacrodial complex. A genesis of corpus callosum is present black arrow indicated, and there is an associated midline cleft lip palate. This patient requires an exit to airway procedure at delivery. And this is coronal CD bone CT in a patient with frontal nasal since the fetal and sepal cell demonstrate a light midline, also the fact you can see an anomaly wide fronticulus frontalis. And this is corner bone CT of an acquired trend. Hetmoidal and cephalocell in a patient with orthromatic CSF, rhinorrhea, reveal a midline or suspect, why should it arrow indicated in the cripreoform flare? And this is the case of occipital and cephalocell where we can find in utero. And this is also the case in the 
uterus finding of the occipital sepal cell with meningo and sepal cell forming. So what is the treatment? Depend on sepal cell location, content, size, and associated anomaly. Goal of surgery, prevent CSF bleed, and meningitis improve functional and cosmetic deformity. Thank you.